Please welcome Mark Consuelos. Yes. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Nice yeah, to see yeah. you too. Yeah, yeah. You handsome bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you look so damn fresh when I know for a fact that you co hosted with your wife, uh, I Kelly did. Ripa, this morning. I did. On Live with Kelly. Yep. Um, matter of fact, here, we actually I got this sent over to us. There's you with Gelman right there. <laughs> with the under eye uh, beauty is beauty is very hard man you got to you got to keep it, it. Is. Well, let me ask you this are you as cuz you guys are very chipper and very friendly yeah. and uh, uh, together yep. in the morning when you're not on camera are you that chipper and friendly with each other comatose <laughs> that's not a spanish we, word right you actually are <laughs> we we're actually say, out no that's 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 who we are we're pretty really? yeah we're really? small people we bounce around a lot you have three children, right? Are your children small? Um, we, I have a 19-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 13-year-old. And and uh, yeah. you actually just spent a fair amount of time away from them, unfortunately, yeah. doing pitch. I, I was shooting in Los Angeles, and the, the oldest two came with me. And my, my daughter loves Los Angeles, could live there tomorrow. How, which one is she? She's the middle. Okay. She's 15. Mm -hmm. And my 19-year-old thinks that really bad stuff happens. He thinks it's evil there. I'm not sure because he he's very afraid of Los Angeles. I said, Michael, you live in New York City, one of the, <laughs> <laughs> one of the hardest t cities in the world. You're scared of Los Angeles? He goes, yes. I mean, and we were walking on Venice, the boardwalk on Venice Beach, and he sees these guys. He goes, Dad, those look like gang members. <laughs> What do they look for? Latino they? gang members. Latino. I go, yeah, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. There's a lady with her, like, her stroller. We're, we're fine, right? <laughs> and so he, like, we, le we left, and we're like, rolling out of the neighborhood. We put on some Latin music, and he's like, Dad, don't play the Latin music. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Dude, I'm Latin. I can play whatever I want. <laughs> I'm not what do you think it was a bird call or yes. something? <laughs> I'm not playing it ironically or to make fun of them. I'm playing it because I like the music. Cause, oh, okay. Yeah. I said, just follow my lead, dude. You'll be fine. Yes. Does he know that he's Latin too? He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he absolutely doesn't. But listen, I've been out in LA for, gosh, nine, ten weeks. Yeah. And most of it's been by myself. Oh, so back to the bachelor lifestyle? But men of a certain age should not be left alone, be pushed back out into the wild, so to speak. How long have you been married? 20 years. Okay, yeah, so you're, you're I, completely conditioned to having oh, somebody look after you. The first thing I did, the first thing I did was I had um, this cool little convertible I had, I, and I never get to drive it in New York because the weather's bad. Mm -hmm. I had it shipped out there, and I thought it'd be a great idea for me to drive a convertible in Los Angeles. Sure. I pull out on sunset, put the top down, I look around, and it's about 4,000 45-year-old guys in convertibles. <laughs> And we all looked at each other like, oh, this is a, I am a cliche. I push the button and the thing comes back. I've been driving it with the top up. It's the best thing about a convertible is keeping the top up. It's really, so it's quiet. It keeps the rain out. It's fantastic. It's ridiculous. So I've been living alone and this kitchen, there's a kitchen and it might as well be like a rocket launcher. I have no idea how to use it. It's very. Did you use no, it at all? I have all pe peanut butter and jelly and egg whites. That's On what I've been having. On the same sandwich? Like Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> But, and also this house, I, I mean, you're living in New York, you don't really have keys, there's a doorman, or you have a swipe thing, and, you know, that's how I've lived. Sure, if you live in a nice place. In a nice place. Yeah. <laughs> I go into the house, and there's keys everywhere. I'm like, wow, that's, there's a lot of, there's an abundance of keys in this house. Like, that's interesting. All right, maybe I'll use them, maybe I won't. Fine. I go out the front door to get a, deliv a delivery of, I forgot what kind of food, and the door shut behind me, it's fine. I get it, thank you very much. I go to open the door and it's locked. It's one of those self-locking doors. Sure. And now I don't know what to do. There's no doorman. <laughs> Good lord. There's no no and, and by the way, there's nobody outside in LA. You're either in your car or in your house. That's right. And so I If you felt walk like on the street, they're like, somebody, we're gonna take you to a psych right, ward. Let's right. go. I felt like out of place, and so I called an Uber. <laughs> to drive you to a locksmith? I, what do you mean? You Grigor, Grigor and I, we worked it out. I need some place to eat my around, food. I'm like, dude, I don't know what to do. What should I do? He goes, well, I don't, do you have the key? Can you break in? I'm, I'm Mexican. I can't break into the house. <laughs> I'm Latin. <laughs> this is how so many bachelors die. Yeah. 
Just all over Los Angeles, their dried husks are on just, front doors. Just done. Everywhere over I mean, Los I, Angeles. I would have, I would have not, I couldn't, my executive's functioning skills were off. I'm like, I don't know what to do. This is, this is, there's no one to call. I did call home. You, you called your wife? Yeah, I called home, and they are partying. They're like, they are doing, there's kids there, there's people there, they're partying. I hear shoes in my house. I go, are there people with shoes in my house? Wait, do you not allow? I don't allow, do not allow shoes, shoes in, my in your house. house? There, there's clickety clacks. I go, I hear that. Wait, wait a second. You are psychotic. <laughs> you, you, you hear cl shoes? Yeah, I heard that. Are They're, you one of those people who has like the deep pile white carpet and you have to take your socks off and please don't wear any colored no, clothing no, no, on I, a white couch? No, 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 I, I don't do that. But I do, if someone says, would you like me to take my shoes off? I said, that'd be amazing. And if they don't say that. I have never asked that of anyone. Other than like my doctor. Really? Yeah. I see what's on the, the sidewalks in New York City. It's not. Oh. It's really bad. Wow. <laughs> you should probably stay in Los Angeles. <laughs> There's nobody on the sidewalks. Um, uh, did you have fun doing pitch? Because I, I understand it. you played ball when you were younger. I played ball up until like my sophomore year in high school. So yeah, I mean, we, we, the show is a partnership with Major League Baseball. Uh huh. And so that means. And so we, was my hot dog vending. Yeah, I saw that. That yeah. was a. I like your wind up. It was thanks really nice. Much. Really, the wind up was great. The pitch, not so much, but I got the wind up down. <laughs> well, Mark, thank you so much for being here. Catch pitch on Fox. Mark Consuelos, everybody. We'll be right back.